Hey, what's up everybody? This is Sean Wolslego coming at you from Sean Wolslego Cybersecurity. And in tonight's video, I'm going to be continuing on the cybersecurity degree for free video series. And in particular, tonight's video is going to focus on what is the difference between threat, vulnerability, and risk, and how do they work hand in hand, and how can we use them in cybersecurity to go ahead and talk to our leadership and our management about these things. So, for starters, all my definitions that I'm about to give you come from NIST, which is the National Institute of Standards and Technology in the United States, which is where I live. I realize that not everybody lives in the United States. Definitely check out your local rules and guidelines. Uh, some of these definitions should line up exactly with what you have. Maybe a few changing in wording, but I just want to be clear about what we have here in the U.S. might be different than what you have somewhere else in the world. Without further ado, here is what those definitions are. Threat. A threat is, according to NIST, any circumstance or event with the potential to adversely impact organizational operations, including mission, functions, image, or reputation, organizational assets or individuals through an information system via unauthorized access, destruction, disclosure, modification of information, and or denial of service. Also, the potential for a threat source to successfully exploit a particular information system vulnerability. So what was all that? What does that even mean, what I just went over, right? So, because that's a lot. A threat is essentially something out there that is posing some type of problem to your organization. A threat could be a bad actor or what you hear commonly in the news as a hacker, right? It can be uh, a piece of malware. It could be a natural disaster even, something that could destroy your business or destroy something, an asset of yours. So let's say you have a computer and that's your asset. And so you don't want to take a risk of it having um, losing that computer and in the case of a major thunderstorm, so you go ahead and use what we call a UPS, which is a battery backup basically for your computer, right? Or you go ahead and put that on a surge protector. So those are some ways that you can mitigate the risk associated with threat. The next thing is gonna be a, a vulnerability. So according to NIST again, a vulnerability is a weakness in an information system, system security procedures, internal controls, or implementation that could be exploited or triggered by a threat source. So that one's definitely a lot less wordy, a lot less involved, but I think it's good. I think it's a really good definition. So it's a weakness. That's a key word, weakness, in information systems system security procedures, internal controls, anything that you're not keeping tabs on basically. If you're not keeping things secure, as secure as they could be, an unpatched system, an unpatched machine, something that is running outdated software, that's a big one, that's a huge vulnerability, an easy one to fix. Something that you're not enforcing strong passwords for your users, you're letting them use weak passwords. Something where you're just allowing your doors unlocked all hours of the day. You're introducing a vulnerability to your organization where somebody could just walk right in and take whatever they want. That wouldn't be good. Anything that's an unsecured network. Maybe you don't have a firewall on your network. Maybe you just have just an open Wi-Fi in your coffee shop. And so that SSID is open for everybody. Now you have a vulnerability that somebody could be looking at not so good content over your Wi-Fi. And so those are some things you have to consider. The next thing would be a risk. And this one's a little bit longer, so bear with me. A risk is a measure of the extent to which an entity is threatened by a potential circumstance or event and typically a function of the adverse impacts that would arise if the circumstance or events occur and the likelihood of occurrence. Note that information system related security risks are those risks that arise from the loss of confidentiality, integrity, or availability. Hey, hey, watch my last video of information or information systems and reflect the potential adverse impacts to organizational operations, 
including mission, functions, image, or reputation, organizational assets, individuals, other organizations, and the nation. Adverse impacts to the nation include, for example, compromises to information systems that support critical infrastructure applications or are paramount to government continuity of operations, as defined by the Department of Homeland Security. And I'm going to add one more onto this since there is another definition here. A measure of the extent to which an entity is threatened by a potential circumstance or event and typically a function of the adverse impacts that would arise if the circumstance or event occurs and the likelihood of occurrence. It's important to know that risk is essentially the combination of threat and vulnerability. If you have a threat and you have a vulnerability, then you have risk. There are a couple of good equations out there. If you Google risk threat vulnerability formula, you'll come up with a bunch of different things. Some of the things out there are uh, risk equals TBC, and that's one of the things I'm seeing on Google Images that's a really useful tool. You can say that the threat, the vulnerability, and the consequence multiplied by each other is the risk. The other thing is that you'll see, and this is the thing that I'm more familiar with, is risk is equal to the likelihood times the impact. The likelihood is the vulnerabilities, your exposures, your threats, your mitigating controls, right? That's likelihood. And then the impact is your criticality. How much is it going to actually cost you to replace this thing? How much is it going to cost your business if it happens, right? That's your risk. Let's say you have something that is older and you still need it for some reason. Sometimes financial systems have this. And so when they have these, they need them for whatever reason, for tax identification purposes or something. And so when you have that, you have a, certainly you have a risk there, right? You have a likelihood that something could happen, but, and the impact to your business is great. You might, it might cost your business millions of dollars if you lose this, but you have to weigh the risk there. You have to think about Okay, if I replace this system, how much is it going to cost me to replace that system? Well, now I need to introduce this new system, and it's going to cost me X number of dollars, and now I need to think about getting people in here to put that new system in place. Sometimes it actually benefits an organization to go ahead and do what we call air gapping, which I'll get into later. Air gapping is when we basically don't have any network attachment at all, and we only let a select few people have access to that system on a need to know basis. So that's a really important term to know that we'll get into again later as well. But need to know basis, zero trust. These are things that are buzzwords in cybersecurity we're definitely gonna dig into later. I'm really excited to tell you more about that. But for this video, we're gonna focus on threat vulnerability and risk because those are important terms to understand whenever you talk to people. Again, articulating is our key point in this series. We wanna articulate, we wanna be able to talk to people people in our leadership, people in our management, it's very important that they understand what cybersecurity is and why it matters. Super important. So threat, vulnerability, and risk together are three of your most important key terms when it comes to driving home the importance of cybersecurity in today's day and age. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to go ahead and talk to you more in the next one and tell you more exciting cybersecurity information and I thank you for your time and I hope you have a wonderful night.